On Monday, a horrifying scene played out at a house on Sunrise Drive near Starkey and Brian Derry Roads. A family dog mauled a two-week-old baby, sending the infant to the hospital with severe injuries. While the infant remains in critical condition at all children's tonight, her parents have new worries, holding on to their three other children. Here's News Channel 8's Marisa Press. Animal Services says Spirit, the wolf hybrid that mauled and dragged two-week-old Susanna Pound by her head through her grandmother's home, no longer exists. He was just uh, humanely getting as a free target. Dr. Kenny Mitchell, director of Pinellas Animal Services, says this afternoon investigators from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission confirmed the animal's movement and behavior matched that of a wolf. And they just moved differently. Its legs were very spindly. It you know, carried its tail a little differently. And uh, the movements were totally different than a regular dog. If it was my dog, the dog would be dead. Gregory Pound, the two eagles' father and brother of Spirit's owner, told News Channel 8 he didn't think the dog should be spared. You know, I've been crying constantly. I just, I just got three other kids I have to take care of, and so that's my, that's my main responsibility right now. But it wasn't long after this statement, Pinellas deputies took custody of Gregory Pound's three other young children. Family members say they're disappointed. Elaine Isaac is Pound's aunt. But they're calling uh, your nephew's home where he's staying now an unsafe environment. No, 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 the home. Come in here a minute. You can see my home. There's nothing wrong with it. Their home is the same as mine. Isaac says her nephew and his wife are good parents and shouldn't be punished for their bad luck. She says seeing their youngest in critical conditions suffering from skull fractures is punishment enough. It was a crazy accident what happened. Norisa Press, News Channel 8. Boris, the other mixed breed shepherd involved in the attack, is back at the Pound's home tonight. The dog has been quarantined for 10 days and isolated from the children. Here's some information to give some perspective about. With relatives looking for a new house is broken up. Child Protection Services ruling since the attack on Monday that the house is unsafe. He's fantastic, father. Elaine Siders is sticking up for the family in this house. She's great aunt to all the kids who live here and says their father wouldn't let them be unsafe. He is. He's a very good father. And uh, I like someone to tell me he's not because I know better. However, Spirit may not have known better than to bite the baby Monday. Expert analysis confirmed she is part wolf, so she was put to sleep. And the owner subsequently made the right decision, and it was a tough decision for her because she loved the animal, and she decided to have it euthanized for the greater good, and so we ended it peacefully. Dr. Mitchell says wolf hybrids are responsible for about a dozen fatal attacks on children because they just don't make good pets. They've got their predatory instincts still intact, and as in this case here, have caused many more injuries. In this case, we now know the baby was bitten about the head and is still in critical but stable condition. She's coming along, yeah. She, uh, her eyes are open and she's, I think, hopefully that we do a lot of praying, she's going to be fine. From the family, though, of that baby, no comment since the children were taken away. The Sheriff's Office is still doing its own independent investigation with detectives from the Crimes Against Children Unit to see if any charges should be filed because of the attack. And at the same time, the three other dogs that were in the home on Monday have all been returned back here to this house. Live in Largo, Rob Spicker, ABC Action. Rob, those are regular dogs. They're not, they're not hybrids of any kind? They are not hybrids of any kind. They made that determination. Two of them are Shih Tzu, so they're very small dogs. Right. Thanks for that report, Rob. When if you now have more heartache to bear. Fred Tom's two-week-old daughter, Susanna, is in all children's hospital in critical condition. This after a wolf hybrid dragged her around the house by the head on Monday. And the police department, the social workers, and we're just very thankful for all that they've done to help us and to get through this and, and just to rescue the baby. It was just, this was our 9-11. Our and just like 9-11, the pain keeps coming. Just moments after Greg Pound made those remarks and headed towards Susanna's room, a deputy joined him. And child protection investigators then took custody of his three other young children. Investigators say a court found the children's environment unsafe. No one answered the door at the family home this evening. One neighbor told us she didn't know the family all that well, but whenever she saw the kids, she says they were well-dressed and clean. Loving, very, very loving. And Greg Pound's aunt is shocked by this latest turn of events. She describes the wolf dog attack as a freak accident. 
says there's no reason for authorities to question the safety of the other children in their parents' care. They're very religious people. They're very good people. I mean, uh, they're church going, they don't smoke, they don't drink. The Department of Children and Families is not commenting on the family situation. As we mentioned earlier, the wolf hybrid spirit involved in the attack has been euthanized. The dog's remains will now undergo testing for rabies, and that's certainly important to know for the baby's health. The dog's owner, the baby dog, gave county officials the go-ahead to do that today. A tip of little